Hello again, hello, just checking in briefly with an update to the previous video. It's basically the same patch on the Zoya, except I added two MIDI CC input modules, and they only take one cell each, so I'm still on the first page. And I, I messed around with controlling a couple of different parameters. I have my 16 fader bank here with a MIDI output connecting to the MIDI input of the Zoya so that I can control parameters manually. Because one of the disadvantages of this is that the only control you've got really is this encoder knob. But, uh, you know, you have to supply your own hardware if you want to control it with switches or knobs or faders. Anyway, I am rambling. What I did, I tried controlling the delay time, and I tried controlling the filter, and I tried controlling the LFO that controls the filter. And I decided to leave those alone and uh, so I wound up only having faders to control the frequency of my two oscillators but uh, let me turn down my mic and turn up the Zoya and let's listen to what it can do now this is the only thing I changed I added controls All I can say is holy moly, just being able to manually control both oscillators, um, this sounds amazing. <laughs> I, uh, I kind of been keeping the Zoya in the box because as an effect, it's kind of fiddly, and I prefer to use like a, a dedicated effect box that's built to do the thing. But uh, I, I'm gonna have to revisit this as a synthesizer because uh, that's that sounds kind of incredible. So there you go. The Zoya with the Michigan Synthworks 16 
uh, only two channels of which I am using, but certainly this patch idea could be greatly expanded upon. Uh, you could make it more complicated. I'm still using only about 45% of the CPU, so it can handle a lot more. Anyway, I think this brief follow-up is longer than the original video. I'm going to cut it off here and bid you all adieu. See you in the next one.